Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to the channel. Do you start getting bored always printing a flat little fin? Do you want to print a little fin that can stand by itself without a support? If you do, then you are in the right video. Today, we are going to show you the complete steps to make a curved little fin. To make a curved little fin, all you need is one of your most beautiful photos, an internet browser with internet access, a 3D printer and some light color filaments. We will be using a free online tool to convert your photos into printable 3D object files, slice using Curious Slicer and print it using your 3D printer. Without further ado, let us get started. The first step is to access to this website called Curve Little Fan Maker. We will place the link of the website under the description section below. From the interface of this website, you can easily read each meaning of the setting parameters. But do not worry, we will guide you through each of the settings in this video. The first thing you need to do is to upload your photos by clicking on Choose File. Next, you can choose to create your little fan with frame or without one. For our purpose, we will choose only one photo and create a little fan without frame. Follow up, we will need to select the little fan resolutions. The default resolution is 0.3 mm per pixel. The smaller this value is, the higher the resolution of your little fan. However, we should not go too lower for this setting as the file being generated will be very large. Some slicer program might fail to slice such big model files. Thus, we will keep this value as default for optimum results. Moving on, we will need to decide the dimension of your little fan. The height setting represents the actual height of the little fan including the frame if applied. We decide to make a small little fan, so we will keep the height as 80mm. The next settings are the X span and the Y span, which represent the actual photo width and height. The X span and Y span will be automatically calculated based on your input photo, so we can leave as it is. The next setting will be more important. The angle represents the curving angle of your desired little fan. An angle of 0 represents a flat little fan, while 360 will represent a circular little fan. Any value within the range will make you with a curved little fan. However, the angle you can input has to be at least bigger than 0.01 degree. Thus, to make a curved little fan, we will input 90 degrees for this setting. Next is the setting for maximum and minimum thickness of the little fan. This is also a very important setting as the difference of the maximum and the minimum thickness will create the contrast of your image. These values depend on the type of filament color that you are using. To find the suitable maximum and minimum thickness, we will suggest that you can print a little fan testing jig like this. The little fan testing jig download link will be included in the description below. Please do not hesitate to download and make your own testing. However, if you are using white color PLA filament, you can follow our settings here exactly. For the maximum thickness, we will use 3.6 mm while the minimum thickness we will use 0.5 mm. For the picture spacing, because we only use one photo, we will set this value to 0. Now, after the settings had done, your little fan 3D model is ready to be created and download. Before that, the website will require us to input our email address for their records purpose. Click on create.sdl and the download will be starting within seconds. Once the download is completed, extract the contents of the zip file and you will be able to see the generated SDL files and a text file containing your settings. 
The second step is to import the generated SDL files into the slicer software. Make sure that we do not scale up or down for this XDL model because this will cause the little fan to fail. But we do need to adjust the orientation of the little fan model so that it is standing vertically and printed across the Y axis of your printer. By printing your little fan on the most stable axis, you can avoid some common problems like ringing and ghosting. Next, we will need to dial in our printing settings. Here, I will mention some of the critical parameter settings for the printing of little fan. The first parameter will be the layer height under quality section. A lower layer height will increase the resolution of the little fan but will cause more printing time. The suitable layer heights are 0 0.1, 0 0.15, and 0.2 mm. For this printing, we will use the optimum value 0.15 mm. The next parameter will be the line width. The line width should be corresponding to the nozzle diameter size to produce the best quality. Thus, we will keep this line width same as the nozzle diameter size, which is 0.4 mm. Moving on to the next sections for shell setting. The wall thickness should always be greater than the overall thickness of our little fan. For our little fan, the thickest part is 3.6 mm. Therefore, we will use 4 mm for this parameter. Remember to enable printing walls to minimize your chance of getting holes on your little fan. Next, for the infill section, we will need to set the infill density to 100%. By setting to 100%, we can avoid any infill patterns inside the little fan which might distort the quality of the little fan. For the material section, use your usual printing temperature that suits your current printing materials. For us, we are using PLA filament, thus we will set the printing temperature to 195 Celsius. For the speed sections, because printing speed is also very crucial to the quality of the little fan, we will need to ensure that the little fan is printed with a suitable printing speed. A suitable range will be around 25 mm per second to 35 mm per second. This parameter will also depend on your 3D printer structural stability. You can go to a higher speed if your printer structure is extremely rigid. For our example, we will stick to the value 25. Remember to enable acceleration and jerk control for a better quality little fan. Under the traveling sections, choose the combing mode to be not in skin. This setting can greatly reduce the chances of blobs forming at the little fan skin surface. Next, if you are printing using PLA filament, make sure that the cooling fan is on and at 100% speed after the first layer. Finally, you need to make sure that you had enabled the adhesion as brim or rough and disable supports for the printing. Supports for printing will cause your little fan to be messed up. After all the settings, click on prepare and slice the little fan. The last step will be printing the little fan using your 3D printer. This might take up to several hours or a day depending on the size of your little fan and the printing speed. Well, let us look at the result of our printing. It looks nice and elegant. With a proper light source behind it, you can enjoy a romantic dinner with your loved one. Here, I also made another design of the little fan that is cylindrical in shape. If you want to make this cylindrical shaped little fan, you will just need to upload more photos, enable the frame for the top and the bottom, and set the angle of the little fan to 360 degrees. So, this is the end of the video. We hope that you are able to follow along and make your own little fan decorations. If you want to know more about little fan, Visit our other video about 10 things I wish I know before printing little fan. The link will be at the description below. Also, if you think that this video is helpful, 
Please like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Your support is our main motivation to create more videos like this. As always, thanks and happy printing.